हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू जेके सर चैनल इफ नॉट सब्सक्राइब और यू आर वाचिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मोर इंफॉर्मेशन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू इन दिस मेथड इन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड देन टुडेस टॉपिक इज हाउ टू ओपन पी एच डी फाइल इन द आउटलुक विदाउट एडिंग द ई मेल एड्रेस और ई मेल अकाउंट और विदाउट एडिंग द प्रोफाइल आउटलुक प्रोफाइल so most of the people they were having the outlook and then some of the uh, some of the users they will not be having the outlooks so sometimes you know uh, they want to they want to check existing backups or they want to check existing phd files what are the mails they are in it that they want to explore it in that case if they don't have any email address in the outlook they cannot be able to add that phd file in the outlook but in that scenario so they will be having a challenge so they'll have to enter the uh, they'll have to configure the email address in the outlook based on that they can add the phd file and they can explore it but in this case in order to uh, achieve or in order to uh, see those existing phd files easily by using this method so so let's see and then how can we configure it so so currently i am having assume that i have a backup so it's called jk backup so assume that this is the left user phd file that i want to explore for the references purpose because uh, you know most of the companies uh, most of the corporate environment if the person left their their emails will be backed up as a phd file that will be assigned to the new user to explore their emails for the further conversation okay this is the scenario and then uh, this is the bst file i am trying to open it i cannot like this okay because this is a bst file you can see this this is a bst file okay bst file okay let me open the outlook and see right as i said you that without creating a profile we cannot add the bst file let's see we'll give try to you can see this it is asking for the email address so like this we cannot okay got it right so in this case there is a method i'll just show you the command so this is outlook.exe/pim and then this is the profile name so using this command method using this command method we can open the outlook easily and then we can attach the phd file and to explore the mailbox data okay and then pam is about personal information manager okay see carefully guys dot exe slash pim and space jk jk is nothing but the profile name i am giving it you can give anything 1 2 3 something else click okay that's it you can cancel this so this is how you can see it then and it's now you can add the existing phd file open outlook data file see this is my phd file that i want to explore it open it you got it so this is how guys so without adding the profile without adding the email account in the outlook we can add the phd file in the outlook to explore the data or to check the phd data we can add the phd file into the outlook using this method what is that method this is what that method so this method we can add the phd file and to explore the data without adding the email account in the outlook or without creation of the profile outlook profile so guys hope you understood and then please do subscribe my channel and for more videos to come with like this and then thank you and thank you for watching